Yeah, that works, don't you think? Rising to be. Rising to be productive. Rising to be organized. Rising to be inspired. Who are you rising to be? New videos every Wednesday and Saturday. Hello everyone, I'm Christina B. Rising and welcome to The Rising and V Show, the only place on the internet where I help you rise to be who you want to be. Helping you rise to be productive, organized, and inspired. I upload every Wednesday and Saturday on my channel. Check out my podcast, Rising to Be, every Tuesday and my Patreon for exclusive and early access content. There's three tiers to choose from at patreon.com slash rising to be. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe so that you can become a riser. Stop being fake and click like. It's free, I promise. And click the bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. Sometimes YouTube likes to hide my videos if you don't also click the bell, so make sure you do that as well. So let's get into this video. Are you tired of 2020 and want to start creating a better life in 2021? Then check out my goal setting workbook to help you create the life you want in 2021. Write the vision and make it plain. Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 2. Available now in my Etsy shop, Rising to Be. Save 20% off your order using code GOALS21. Keep rising to be who you want to be. Hello everyone and welcome to Rising to Be where I help you rise to be productive, organized, and inspired. And in today's video we're going to be opening my brand new uh, Bible from, hold on, let me see. My brand new Bible for 2021 and it's from Crossway. Let me just grab the box that it came in. It's a single column journaling Bible, large print, natural leather, flap with a strap. And as you can see, it definitely doesn't look like the same color on the box. And I was kind of hurt about that. But it's ESV, English Standard Version. And yeah, it says here that the ESV Bible is guaranteed to last a lifetime. If you discover manufacturing defects during normal use, please contact us and we will replace it with a comparable Bible. All right, and here, and it, this is by Crossway again. And some features that this ESV single column journaling large print Bible has, it's not really large print because I believe it's a 9.5 print. Yeah, it's a 9.5 point type. But the ESV single column journaling large print features readable 9.5 point type on high quality Bible paper with two inch ruled margins, making it a great addition for those looking for a large print Bible with plenty of space for notes, prayers, reflections, or artwork. 9.5 point type again, single column format, cream colored paper, which I don't really like. I like the white paper that I had in my last Bible. And this is a two inch ruled margin, Smith, I think that's how you say it, Smithstone binding, lifetime guarantee, and this is uh, an example of the actual type size. So about the ESV, which is the Eng English Standard Version, it's a Bible, a great choice for personal reading and study for private devotions and family prayers, and for teaching, preaching, and worship, and essentially literal translations. And essentially literal translation, the ESV Bible combines word for word accuracy with readability, literacy excellence, and depth of meaning. More than a hundred of the world's leading Bible scholars and teachers were involved in creating the ESV Bible. Trusted worldwide, the ESV is a treasure for life. What Christian leaders are saying, I don't really care about people's opinions. I want to know what the Bible is saying. You know, a nice little storage box. And of course, here is the ISBN number so that you can find it for yourself. And it should be getting a really nice focus. Yeah. But yeah. So let's get into my Bible. So, but first, before we do that, I want to show you what my old Bible looked like. So as you can see, I wrote summer 2020 at the bottom. Just to remember when I used this Bible and of course when I got the Bible. And it kind of look, looks like a bullet journal if you look at it. If you can see, it has that nice rubber band attached to it on the back. I added this pin loop from Erin Condren. This is a paper mate flare medium point pin. I also added washi tape right here. But as you can also notice, I added it at the top of the page and it kind of gave that triangle effect as you can see. Hold on, let me zoom out. Yeah, it kind of gave like a triangle effect, you know, and it swoops down. It's not flat and it's kind of hard to write in. So next time in this, well not next time, but in this Bible that 
I'll be using for 2021. I won't be adding it to the top part. I'll only be adding it in between so that way my Bible leans evenly if that makes sense. And of course I have a The Bible is Good For You um, bookmark that I updated and reworked myself by adding this so-called bracelet that they have but to me it looks more like a ribbon so I added that I added that on my bookmark and of course I added their stickers here the best day of the week the Bible is good for you and I just really liked how that looked it made it look my it made it make it honestly made my Bible look a bit more feminine so yeah and as you can see it's bunching at the sides because of all that tape Hmm. all right and here of course is my faux laminated page that I added with some tape and I believe I'm gonna do the same thing in my new Bible and of course I added this uh, holographic tape where I have just to help me remember that's for Psalms which is the chapter in my book that has the washi tape just to help it like a visual standout or a representation I guess without that having to remember where I, it is in my Bible because I really like Psalms it's one of my favorite books and of course here's the alphabetical page which is also in my newer Bible for ESV now one thing I didn't like about this Bible is all of these how many introduction pages they have here and yeah so in my newer Bible they only have like one good introduction page which I appreciate but as you can see, I really wrote a whole lot of notes, added some stickers, and these stickers are from the Happy Planner, of course. And I just love on this Bible, honestly. But yeah, I'm just gonna do a, a one, two, three. And this is kind of like my fake hand lettering. But yeah, and even added, let me see. This is like my version of taking Bible notes and this is just a definition of threshing floor which is a hard level surface on which grain is threshed with a flail and of course I add dates because you know that's how I do my Bible study I like having those little dates to remind myself when I took these it's just a really nice thing that I like to do and of course this pink is for my wisdom books but yeah I definitely will be incorporating the washi tape in my brand new Bible and yeah so let's jump into my new Bible oh wait I also wanted to show you this because some of these notes are from devotionals that I've been doing throughout the year and I'll definitely be putting that to use in my new Bible so here on the blank pages I was supposed to be using all of these pages for completed devotionals just to keep track of what devotionals I'm doing and of course the ones that are highlighted are the ones that I plan on doing again and of course the ones that I really really enjoyed the ones that are underlined were, were good and or decent that I may or may not be doing and of course everything that isn't highlighted or underlined I won't be going back to but I did really like this one so let me highlight that before we get started in my new Bible <laughs> And of course added dates for when I completed it and I also want to add like some sort of rating to it as well just to have a really good reminder of whether or not I liked it you know but that's that so let's move on to my brand new Bible and get it started for the new year <laughs> all right so First, we have to write 2021 at the bottom of my Bible. And I'm just writing this with a Crayola Super Tips marker. And I guess I can write January, but I'll write like the abbreviated. January. Because the way that I've been writing notes in my Bible lately has been a bit much, which is also why I added it, which is why I'm also going to be using these journals that I found from Hobby Lobby. So let me grab them as well as the rest of the Bible goodies that I have for this brand new Bible. So I got a bunch of these little notebooks and this one says, trust the Lord with all your heart. Proverbs chapter three, verse five. This one says, faith, hope, love. This one says, do justly, love mercy, walk humbly. Micah chapter six, verse eight. 
and live in wonder and find beauty in the everyday and I like these because these are a bit smaller so I feel like they'll be able to go underneath that flap let's just try it out for a second for on the go yeah that works don't you think okay and I'll just use this for overflow notes in my Bible some other things I got was this notebooklet and it has 800 sticky notes which is really great for my Bible let me open it and it kind of looks like a baby journal and as you can see it's plenty of play page flags plenty of just regular daily sticky notes this is going to come in handy in my Bible honestly thank you Erin Condren and of course this came from Erin Condren during their some sort of warehouse sale they had last summer and then I got three of these metallic pin holders and I'll probably be using the gold one to match my Bible tabs that I got from Hobby Lobby they came in silver as well as in gold so I'll be definitely be doing the gold one just to match that um, pin loop even though this one came with a pin loop but you know you never can have too many pin loops but that's what I plan on doing and yeah so those are the things I bought for my planner now let's do a quick, a quick flip through of what's in this Bible. Now I really like this synthetic-y. Now I will say this leather does like peel off a bit and has a few giblets or whatever. But this material feels really nice. It's almost like some sort of synthetic whatever. And it says, of course we have here the intro page that says the Bible. This Bible belongs to all these four lines. Hopefully I could paint something on it and write, you know, date received, etc. etc. The Holy Bible, the Holy Bible, table contents, preface, and of course alphabetical order, which is what I really, really love. But yeah. So, yeah. As you can see, it's a little yellow. I'm not really a fan, but I guess it does definitely match the natural leather of this Bible, which is, I guess that's probably why they made it more yellow than white. But yeah, it probably looks a little bit more white on, and notice it's looking a little bit more white in the camera than it is on my desk. So, yeah, and it also comes with a pen loop right here in the back. And yeah, see, and of course that little, those pieces are pieces of the leather. Now this is how they're doing the Bible reading plan in the back of this Bible. I don't like the format of this. I like the format it the way they formatted it in my other Bible. Even though I didn't use it, it's, see? It's just a list of scriptures, point blank period. All these lines is kind of unnecessary. But yeah. Hopefully I have a few blank pages where I can write a list of my devotionals. Oh no, they have weights and measurements. Oh, do I not have it? I really like having a few blank pages so I can write my list of devotionals as well as making oh my goodness I guess there isn't a space for it yeah because that I'll definitely be using this for my um this area is gonna be my what is it my vision board I like to put vision boards in my Bible I I didn't have a chance to do it in my last one but I definitely want to do it in this one but there's not much space there they don't have any bonus pages unless they had some in the front I don't think I remember seeing them that's making me a little anxious and of course there's only one ribbon one funky ribbon and I'll probably be following Jason Mayfield's video to add more ribbons in here but yeah there's not bonus pages which hurts my feelings a bit I guess I can add it in the front or something but yeah hmm it's here I'll figure it out. But other than that, let's add a few. I hope this video was helpful to you. Let me know down below in the comments what tip you'll use to overcome imposter syndrome. I want to share the question of the day with you, which is, how do you handle spooky situations? Let me know your answers down below. And don't forget to download my free monthly motivational wallpapers for your computer and phone. The monthly theme for the month of November is the month of being thankful for your blessings. And you can get that for free once you join my Patreon down below. Now, back to the show. Let's add some tape to Psalms. And 
I might not have enough space to add my Bible tabs because of this flap. So I think I'll hold on to the, the tabs for my next Bible. I'll probably do that. And just use the, the washi tape instead to label. And I believe I got this washi tape from the Bando. Yeah, Bando.com. But I bought it forever ago before I found out that the woman that owns the that owns Bando is racist. So you know, you know how that goes. Oh goodness. Stay up to date with everything Rising TV by signing up to the weekly newsletter. It's filled with blogs, videos, exclusive freebies, and so much more. To help you rise to be who you want to be, create results, not plans. Don't stop rising. If you're watching on IGTV, you can sign up through my link in bio. Keep rising. Follow me on Instagram at Rising and Be for motivational content. And Twitter at I am Rising to Be for inspirational tweets. Follow me on Pinterest at Rising to Be for several boards of inspiration and motivation. And join the Rising to Be Facebook group at Rising to Be. Keep rising. And even if you mess up, that's okay. Kind of like I did, but you know, just let it be. All of that just adds character to your Bible, in my opinion. All right, so now that those are done for Psalms, look at how nice it is. Came out pretty good. It's a bit of a bulge, but that's fine. So now I'm gonna take this same tape and go to the beginning of Psalms. I'm gonna add like a line underneath, just for emphasis, you know? And there we go. I really like how that looks. Adds a a bit of character to the page in my opinion. Alright, so now we're gonna take that same tape and go to the table of contents. 
songs. Where are your songs? Boom. And cut a really thin piece that hopefully goes in between. All right, so hopefully this is thin enough because it's a little hard to peel. There we go, that looks pretty good. Of course, add it here as well. Oh my goodness, come on tape. There we go. And of course I'm gonna add more, like a clear tape, just to help that tape stay. But yeah, now that that's done, I probably, I'm gonna use this Erin Condren tape for Proverbs. And I should have enough, I have three rolls. So, hopefully that works out. This isn't sticking that well. And in case you're thinking I'm gonna add tape to every chapter, no. I just like Psalms and Proverbs and I thought this would be a really nice way to make it stand out. It's really pretty. So I'm also gonna add that same tape to my table of contents as well. And some other wisdom books would be Ecclesiastics and Job. So I wanna see, I think I'll have enough tape to do all of those as well, just to help them stand out. I'll even write it on the page. Oh, here's Job. So, 42 chapters. And I just got this brand new book from Daily Grace, which is a nice Christian store I found. And this is just a free thing that they gave with my order. It's a guide to international, well, intentional Bible study and prayer. And I really liked what they had in here. One of these pages. See, books of the Bible. So I thought I could also color it that way in my book too. Just for extra emphasis, you know? So now this page is ready, I'll just read out the different colors to you. So this light blue is uh, law, 
dark green is history, pink is poetry, purple is major and minor prophets, and then like that tealish color is gospels, light purple is history, red is letters, and light green is prophecy. So I really like how this turned out. There's some bleed through, but you know, that's fine. And of course we have our wisdom books at the top, Proverbs, Proverbs Ecclesiastics, and Job. So now I'm ready to do my fake lamination. Alright, so it came out a little wrinkled. Alright, so it came out a little wrinkled, but you know, it'll do. I can still read it. And, you know, it works. There's a few other things I wanted to do in this Bible, like doing a few paintings with some watercolors like I've seen a few other people do. But I think this is mostly it. If I ever get the watercolor done, I'll be sure to add some photos or maybe even add some footage in if I can catch that as well. But I do want to stretch out this um, pin loop, so I'll probably be adding a ginormous sharpie in there if I can, if I can get it in there. Or maybe one of these pins. That's good. There we go. It's a, it fans out a little bit, but you know, it'll do. And of course, I laminated, well, did my fake lamination, fake lamination with this Easy Start duct tape. Yeah, heavy duty for moving and chipping it. And it came out really well. And this is like the glossy finish one. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, so it's a bit busy, but you know, it'll do. Just gonna wrap that around. All right, there we go. I like it so far. What do you think? I know if I set a book on it, it'll help it close better, but I'm liking it so far. And I'll see you in my next video. I upload every Wednesday and Saturday on my channel. Check out my podcast, Rising and Be, every Tuesday, and my Patreon for exclusive and early access content. There's three tiers to choose from at patreon.com forward slash Rising and Be. If you have an episode idea on what you would like to see next, make sure to comment it down below. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe so that more people like you can watch more videos just like this. Thank you so much for choosing to watch my video. I truly appreciate it. Remember, as we rise to be, we are becoming who we want to be. I am Christina B. Rising, and I will always be rising. So keep rising to be who you want to be. Bye! Do you want even more Rising to Be in your life? Then join the Rising to Be Patreon. It helps you support the channel and other forms of content. There's three tiers to choose from. Starting as low as $4. So here's a breakdown of tier one. You get access to the monthly wallpapers for your computer and phone to keep you motivated and inspired all month long. You get to choose one monthly video topic and of course you get a Patreon shout out in my next video. Tier two has access to monthly wallpapers. You get to choose one monthly video topic, early access to videos, and of course a Patreon shout out in my next video. Tier 3 has access to the monthly wallpapers. They get to choose two monthly video topics and one podcast topic. Early access to videos and podcasts, a Patreon shout out in my next video, and of course exclusive access to my printable collection from my Etsy store, Rising to V. And it's only available through Patreon and Etsy, so this is something you really want to jump on. There are three tiers to choose from. I plan on adding even more as we go along. So I hope you'll consider joining the Patreon risers. Keep rising to be who you want to be.